State House, the new governor is escorted into the ancient castle. The Irish sweeps derby at the Curragh, where a big crowd makes the most of an exciting day's racing. More trouser suits in evidence here than for the English derby at Epsom, but this isn't quite such a fashion-conscious meeting. Here they're more concerned with the bookies than the crookies. And many punters reckon they've got the big race in the bag. Lester Piggott on Meadowville occupies second place in the betting at 10 to 1. But it's odds on Nijinsky to add this £57,000 classic to his victories in the 2,000 guineas and the derby. Racing pundits say Nijinsky can't lose, but there's always an element of doubt. Cigars are chewed down and even prayers are offered. Irish jockey Liam Ward must have feared a repetition of his 1968 ride on Survivor when he was beaten by Piggott on Ribeiro. But as they started the mile and a half race, Ward calmly settled Nijinsky back in the last three as Double Dick and Dubrava made the running. The favourite stayed almost last until they turned into the straight with three furlongs to go. Then Nijinsky began to improve his position on the rails. He still had all of ten lengths to catch up. But extending his stride to street past Meadowville, Nijinsky went clear for a very convincing win. Unbeaten in nine runs, Nijinsky has now won almost £170,000 for his owner. What a horse!